So I just wanted to make this video real quick, man. Basically just to speak my mind and basically speak my thoughts and put it into a video. So this is why I'm not paying for PlayStation Plus anymore. Some of these PlayStation Plus games are indie trash. I didn't buy PlayStation Plus to play indie trash, okay? Uh, if I want to play indie trash, then I would have bought an indie game, okay? I bought a PlayStation 4 to play PlayStation 4 games, okay? It don't, they don't got to be AAA titles. They don't got to be, you know, A titles. They got to be good titles. And, in, and I didn't, in the fact that I'm over here, actually, not even over here, the fact that they're spending up in the price to $60. That's like a new game right there. And I know what some people are going to say, oh, well, you're just saying that because you can't afford it. No, bitch. I been can afford it, but I'm no longer going to afford it because guess what? You're asking for an extra $10. PlayStation, listen, and this is real talk for everybody. PlayStation's network always down every five minutes. Oh, PlayStation network down. PlayStation Network down. PlayStation Network down. Hey, did you know? PlayStation Network down. Hey, did you know? PlayStation Network down. Hey, did you know? PlayStation Network down. Listen, I'm tired of PlayStation Network always being down. Like, you're forcing your consumers to buy PlayStation Plus when back in the old PS3 days, PlayStation Plus was, was optional. You could get it if you wanted to. And it was actually worth something. Now that you up the shit to an additional $10, $60, what's the point of buying PlayStation Plus? What's the point? You know, some people can say, oh, well, you know, I just spend $25 on it. You know, uh, I only spend, you know, uh, at least 8 or something like that on it. Listen, PlayStation Plus is just not worth it anymore. And once my shit expire, I'm not buying PlayStation Plus anymore. That's it. Like, I'm cool. I don't got time for PlayStation Plus. You know, uh, the games that they put out, they're okay. I mean, you had a good year for PlayStation Plus. Uh, I'll say it was a good year for PlayStation Plus when they put some games out that were actually good for free. But other than that, they was willing to give you a soccer game. A soccer game and some other game until everybody bitched about it. Now, when you act like a community and stand up for something, then hell yeah. You know? But, I'm sorry, man. I'm not I'm not paying for PlayStation Plus, man. Once my PlayStation Plus expire, that's it. Like, I'm not about to keep giving y'all money for a network that I'm paying for. And every five minutes... I look on Google or I'm on Google or something and it's telling me PlayStation Network down, PlayStation Network down. Hell, let's not forget that PlayStation Network was hacked before. It was hacked so bad that it made the national news. So at the end of the day, all I'm going to say is I'm not paying for PlayStation Plus anymore. I'm okay. I can do it out. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just do it out. So when my PlayStation Plus expire, that's it. You know? And if I find out the games I got currently needs PlayStation Plus, then I will be taking my ass to GameStop. I don't like GameStop, but I will go to GameStop and trade those games in. Because at the end of the day, they're forcing you to buy PlayStation Plus when in reality, you don't need it. But other than that, man, um, this is your boy Omega. I'm signing out. Be sure to leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like real content from someone who's going to keep it real and honest. If not, then hey, it is what it is. Other than that, peace out.